am not flexible at all. And that's what I realized in Hot Pilates. That was my first dumb bitch moment of the move. It's giving glaze. I like formed an emotional connection with this lady and now I have to find another doctor. This cannot go undocumented. What's up you guys? Welcome to a vlog. It is 9.08 p.m. on Monday, April 24th. I have been trying to find my groove and flow of going into this era of like living single in my 20s. And I am in the process of getting my life together. So I'll give you guys some life updates because it has been a minute. Tonight I actually need to finish editing and try to upload the last moving vlog. It's like so late it's like three weeks late i've just been in a weird rut recently but i'm trying to get myself out of it what else happened i actually ran into something in the street love that for me so fast forward to today i finally was able to drop it off at the body shop there was like drama with the body shop they couldn't find my appointment girl it's it's always something with me i got a rental today um from enterprise approved me for like a regular size sedan because i have a sonata if you guys don't know um but they approved me for like basically a sonata sized vehicle but they didn't have any available, so they upgraded me for free to a Jeep Cherokee. Now, I don't know if I ever expressed this on camera, but I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler because it looks like the G-Wagon, and that's like my dream like luxury car. I have a couple of dream luxury cars, but that's like on the top. I thought it was that at first, but it's actually like a kind of like SUV-esque vibe in the Cherokee, but I've never driven a Jeep before, so when she asked me if I wanted to upgrade to that, I was like, Yes, I do. But I'm glad I chose this timing because I actually am going to be getting my tonsils out. Even talking right now, I can hear that something's going on <laughs> in there. I've wanted to get my tonsils out since I was around 18 years old, even a couple of years before that, but I always held off because I was a music major. If you guys are new here, I went to college for music performance specifically, so I was singing all the time. And um, I just thought that it was gonna mess up the resonance in my voice because when you get your tonsils out, it does change the resonance. And I didn't want to go through the struggle of having to learn how to sing again in that way. So I just never took them out. But I'm out of college, I graduated. I don't use music as my primary source of income or like my primary career. I would love to make like an album. Let's make a little bop. One time for the one time, but like a bunch of other stuff has happened with my tonsils to the point where I'm just like, you know what, it's time. So I'm getting them taken out on Cinco de Mayo, which is really random. Other than that, that's pretty much it for tonight. I have some laundry to do. I have to go to work tomorrow, so I have to prepare for that. And at some point this week, I definitely need to do like a little bit of a deep clean, like with my floors and stuff, because I haven't swept or mopped my floor in a minute. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I have specific days that I usually call my family members and like times and stuff. And it's getting to the point where it's almost 9.30 and I know if I don't call my grandmother, she will literally call me and be like, why did you call me? <laughs> so I'm gonna call my grandma. It took a hot long shower i was in the gym with nayante today and she gave me like a circuit we literally only did one of the circuit it was a lot and i um showed her like my types of workouts so i'm like a 12 3 30 hoe so we didn't use the treadmill we used like ellipticals and turned the resistance up to 12 and i was like going back and forth it's been a minute since i've been back in the gym but i'm really trying to get into my like healthy girl consistent girl just Overall, trying to better my life health-wise, mentality-wise. I filmed it on purpose because I knew it was gonna be bad, but I know looking back on it later on when I'm doing it consistently, I will thank myself for showing myself the progress that I've made. Something that it reminds me of is Orange Theory and I really wanna get back into going to Orange Theory. I used to go there all the time last summer and I kinda stopped because it was so expensive and then I moved and everything happened, but now I am kinda wanna go back even though it is expensive. I personally feel like it's worth it because it does push me to my limits. It pushes me to do more and be better fitness wise. And I felt like I was getting stronger going there. Like my endurance was going up and I really loved it. So other than doing like my 12, 3, 30 cardio weightlifting situation, I like having some structure in classes and something about Orange Theory gets me. I actually tried hot Pilates as well. It's on my YouTube shorts. I started using YouTube shorts. I don't know how that algorithm works. I started using YouTube shorts a couple of weeks ago. So technically I haven't gone three weeks without an upload. It's just, it wasn't a regular video. They were YouTube shorts. But girl, I did hot Pilates for the first time ever. I am not flexible at all. And that's what I realized in hot Pilates. So I definitely need to do some flexibility training. A lot of like self-improvement, health conscious things going on right now. Hopefully I can keep it up. Hello? Hi, Grandma. Hey. <laughs> did you ever join a sorority? No, I didn't join a sorority. It's grind time. It's 11.13 p.m. right now. I am setting myself a boundary of only doing this until like 1 a.m. And then I'm gonna call it quits for the night. So I'm gonna edit 
and then we'll pick back up or finishing touches stuff like that later i'm gonna try to post this by thursday of this week i'm probably gonna wash another little laundry before then as well before 1 a.m bath the turkish bathhouse marble slab <laughs> Okay, you guys, it is 12.46 a.m. It is officially technically April 25th, Tuesday. I have my clothes drying. I'm about to put my second load that I washed in the dryer. I've been here for a little bit over three months, so it has been a whirlwind of emotions. I've uh, had a lot of autoimmune problems in and out of these three months. It's been a mess. My eye doctor, my homegirl, love that girl. She's actually pregnant and she's on maternity leave right now, which I'm really sad about. So I have to go see like a fill-in doctor until she comes back. With autoimmune stuff, it can just pop up at any time. And I'm kind of a little bit nervous about this tonsil removal for a variety of reasons, but uh, one of the main reasons now is because now that I have like all these like underlying conditions, I hope nothing weird happens i'm just praying everything goes well and to keep myself occupied i'm gonna have this vlog to edit while i'm here for the two weeks on kind of like a bed rest i'm not gonna be working for two weeks because i just feel like i want to give myself the full amount of time to heal and my ear nose and throat doctor said two weeks so we're giving her two weeks babe but i think i'm gonna shut this down i'm glad i got the raw footage out of the way because that was that was a that was a job the fun part is adding the subtitles and the text and the effects and the music I'm having a lot of fun with Epidemic Sound right now. That's the source I've been using for my music. I pay for the yearly subscription. Bomb. I can't believe I haven't used it sooner. It's definitely worth the money. I'm going to do a little bit of spring cleaning in this video as well. But for right now, it's 1 a.m. I'm not doing nothing except for getting my eyes in the bed. Welcome to Tuesday. It is currently 10.43 a.m. I have my natural light going from the window because it is sunny outside today and what's the point of turning the lights on? Also, save on the energy bill, babe. Ever since I turned my air conditioning on, bg &E has been going crazy. I woke up like an hour later than I wanted to. I actually used my Doing Well Daily Planner last night and I like to do it the night before because I feel like whenever I write stuff down the night before, I actually have like a higher chance of getting it done the next day. I'm getting my life together. I'm planning now. She's a planner. I really wanted to wake up early and do everything, but I did most of the things. So a win is a win. Woke up and I cleaned my bathroom sink. I just stopped by Dunkin' Donuts 
to treat myself. Guys, my legs from yesterday hurt so bad. Nayante killed me, okay? Um, I haven't done like a full body workout in a minute. My arms hurt right now holding my camera up. My legs hurt when I woke up this morning. That was part of the reason why I didn't want to get up immediately. I know I'm gonna have to actually eat real food later, but I really just wanted a donut. I really, I'm a sucker for the strawberry frosted small of the ice latte with caramel because I know I'm not gonna drink it all. Get ready for work and come back a little bit later. I just got off of work. I got some Greek food. Got some shrimp and pita bread. Walked my dog earlier. Changed my clothes. If you hear noise in the background, it's my dog watching me eat because he has absolutely no manners. Do you? I am supposed to go to the gym with my auntie again at, well, it's supposed to be at seven. I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna go at eight. Not the healthiest meal, but better than burger, I guess. <laughs> Jim Shark, we love it. I can't do a push up. That's okay. We could do five. You can't even do one push up. No. You can't do girl push up? No. You can't do girl push up? Girl, I can't do push up, period. The arm said no. <laughs> I cannot. Hand me a towel. I'm dirty dancing by myself. All right, let's go. Cause that clinic kill myself. But you yeah. gotta hit the pussy right up. <laughs> That's my ah! so, 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 so. Bye myself. Bye myself. Bye myself. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. before I had to go to work until they called me out. I have the day off now. And I think I am finally going to put a work order in for my light bulbs that are above me because they have gone out two times. The first time they went out, it was only one of them and now both of them are out. Can you see that? I don't know why they're like that. I've just been too lazy to put in the work order. I just didn't feel like having the maintenance men come in here, even though I know it's only gonna take two seconds to screw the light bulb in. Is anybody else like that? But I'm gonna put the work order in now because usually he's pretty quick, the maintenance man. I think there's a couple of them, but one specifically always usually comes to my unit. I'm assuming if I put the work order in now, he'll probably come within the next hour or two. I actually am so proud of myself. I am currently budgeting to have this two week tonsil removal situation. I'm trying to get everything financially together. This way I can feel comfortable and like normal and calm and not anxious when I'm sitting here for two weeks. I'm putting my personal goals in order. I'm excited and proud of myself for going to the gym two days in a row, but I'm not gonna lie. I walked to my car to go to the ATM this morning and I literally was struggling to walk to the car. So today, my crazy friend, Nayante, wants to do a bunch of crazy shit. And I was like, girl, you do you. I'm sticking to my 12, 3, 30. Okay, now that my service request is in, I feel a little bit better. I am going to make some coffee. And I actually bought this yesterday night after my workout. Khalifa Farms Iced Coffee Creamer in Vanilla Sweet Cream. Do you see this? It was so good. I tried it last night, even though I probably shouldn't have drank coffee last night, but it was so good. I need to get another one of these, but I use the Stoke Cold Brew, the Not Too Sweet, and then I'm gonna use this Vanilla Sweet Cream. These were in my apartment haul, these like clear straws. I love them for the aesthetic. Pick some cold brew. Now, normally I'll do like half this and half almond milk, and then I actually got, let me show you guys. I bought this a minute ago from Amazon, Lifesaver for someone like me that loves sugary taste but needs to stop eating sugar all the time. This is sugar-free caramel syrup and it's so, so good. Normally I'll do like half stoke, half almond milk and then like three pumps of this and it does the job. So because I have the creamer, I'm just gonna do mostly coffee instead of half and half and then like a splash of the creamer because the creamer is really strong and it definitely does the job. Okay. And then I'm not gonna eat this right now, maybe a little bit later. Just, ooh, I think that's the maintenance request. Hello? Can I come take care of the lights for you? Yeah, let me open the door now. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> That was my first dumb bitch moment of the move, okay? There's a dimmer on my light switch and I didn't even know. 
until literally just now. And I'm glad I know now because I definitely would have never turned them on ever again. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm going to take my coffee, relax, go on my iPad, do some planning for the rest of the month and just chill and I'll probably start editing in a couple of hours because I woke up earlier than expected and I got more done than I thought I would and now that I'm off, I have nothing to do. I told my dog he can get up on my bed. <laughs> Look at this man. Yes, I'm talking about you. I have to clean my bedding, so I figured I'd let him get on. But I'm excited to almost be finished with the moving vlogs. It's kind of bittersweet because I really did love that series. Um, and it was something that I've been looking forward to for years. I've always wanted to move into my own apartment by myself with my dog and just have like a whole video experience with it. So I'm excited I got to do that for myself. I texted Nayante to see what time she wanted to go to the gym today because I definitely need to do that. I'm going to lay here. <laughs> until I get some updates about the gym. Okay, y'all, I have to be to the gym in a couple of minutes or else Nayate will literally murder me. But I wanna show y'all something. I was putting on my gym fit, right? Tell me why. Exactly how did I do that? I literally, first of all, I wanna start out by saying that I can tell that I've lost weight since the last time I put these pants on. So it's not the weight, okay? I just racked them up and it just completely ripped. Anyways, let me take my ass to the gym. Let's let's go, cause we we, we gotta go. <laughs> it's your first time doing 12, 30. How do you feel? Powerful. <laughs> Strong. Strong. Independent. You win. Solitaire. Yeah, I need something for this one. Girl, 12.30 is over. I did a good eight incline two speed because my legs from the past two days are just completely done. But you did the full 30. Well, you, you did like 20 something. Yeah. With a cool 12 incline. A solid 20. A solid 20. Not bad. But my legs still hurt. Look at my face. It's giving my forehead. It's giving donut. It's giving glaze. It is a superior cardio workout. I don't care what anybody says. I've never lost weight like noticeably until I did 12, 3, 30. When you said I look different in the summertime, that's what I was doing. Yeah, but like, 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 how much weight do you do I don't know. I think I would weigh myself probably like every two weeks, three weeks. I used to watch myself on the scale all the time, but that just fucks up the mind, so I stopped yeah. doing that. Good morning guys. It is like 10 something. It's 10.32 and it's Thursday. This cannot go undocumented. Like this is probably the best shirt that I own. get ready for work. I just speed racered. I did all of the editing. I finished the editing earlier today um, after I came back from the store. I ate my breakfast. I drank my coffee. I finished editing. I uploaded it and now it is currently processing on YouTube. So I have it scheduled to go up at 6 p.m. This is the video up here. So, so cute. I love the way the thumbnail came out. If you're wondering what this is, it's a heating pad to go on my shoulder because girl, these workouts is weak. I have been killing my muscles, my shoulder still hurts. So I've been laying on this heating pad while I was doing my thumbnail. And tomorrow morning, I have a pre-op appointment for my tonsils getting removed. I have a pre-op appointment with my regular doctor, which I haven't seen a regular doctor in like over a year, you guys. I've been seeing my autoimmune doctors, which is mainly my eye doctor and also a rheumatologist. I've actually never met my regular doctor before. I got recommended her by my gynecologist. By the time I was gonna go to my regular doctor, all of this stuff started happening to me. So I never got a chance to meet her. Um, so I'm excited to meet her finally. Good morning, you guys. It is 10.35. I have a pre-op appointment at 11 a.m. So I'm about to head there, but I was at Dunkin' Donuts the other day and I heard this girl in front of me order a vanilla chai tea latte 
and I thought it was a really good idea. I don't think it's like revolutionary or anything, but I have never tried it myself, so I ordered it today. The girl at Dunkin' Donuts at this point were best friends. I walked in there and she was like, we don't have any strawberry frosted <laughs> donuts because that is my guilty pleasure. I love strawberry frosted donuts. I just got some glazed and then I asked her if she could make me a vanilla chai tea latte and she said yes. So I tried it out. It's actually really good. It is a medium iced chai tea latte with three French vanilla swirls bomb but I still have the rental car as you can see I'm gonna miss it when I get my other one back I'm not gonna lie because this vlogging angle is everything something about having a bigger car is just it I've always wanted to have like a SUV type of car by the time I got my first car it was a Chevy Cruze and I really liked the small feel so I just ended up getting another sedan when I traded in my Chevy Cruze I had to trade her in if you guys are new here shortly after I graduated it started her deterioration process so I ended up trading her in and buying one all in my name so your girls miss independent out here Okay, everything's in my name. It's giving she got her own house, she got her own car, two jobs for a car, she a bad brat. But I definitely see myself driving a bigger car like this for like my mom era. Like I don't think I wanna drive it right now. This isn't suiting me for like my single girl living alone and doing her thing. But it is fun to cosplay as a person that drives <laughs> one of these cars. So let's head to my doctor's appointment so I can finally meet my doctor for the first time. Um, and get some pre-op instructions for getting my tonsils taken out. Drink this in my hand. Take the exit. Okay, you guys, it is finally time. I cleaned up a little bit around here and made myself an iced coffee. And it is finally time to clean my floors, which I don't wanna do. I got back from my pre-op appointment and the ironic part is I finally got to meet my doctor and she told me that she's leaving. I like formed an emotional connection with this lady and now I have to find another doctor. Like, I can't. But anyways, let's get to cleaning because I've been putting this off for the entire week. Um, I have a wax later. Oh, am I the only person that like shaves their entire body before they go to get a wax? It's like the same vibe for when I get a pedicure. I don't want people to do my feet and my legs are hairy because then when they start touching my legs, like I feel like the glove with the hair, if you know, you know. Like rubbing like lotion and like things on my legs and my feet when they're hairy is just not the vibe for me so i like to do the same thing when i get a wax because like if i'm getting a wax i want to feel like a baby seal by the end of it like full body experience so i'm gonna take the shower later before i get the wax which is gonna be in a couple of hours and i actually just realized i'm gonna go to the store one more time before i leave for work later because i need to get flowers for my grandmother my grandmother's birthday is tomorrow she's turning 82 happy birthday grandma i'm gonna go see her after i get off of work tomorrow and i've had this cup that I've been meaning to give her, but I also wanted to get her a card and some flowers because my girl lives for flowers, probably some candy too. And me and my grandmother on my dad's side are extremely close. Um, I'm gonna see my dad also. So I'm excited to see my dad and all of my uncles are gonna be there. So it'll be a fun time. I haven't seen my uncles in a minute either. That's tomorrow after work. So I'm gonna go get it now because I don't wanna rush after work tomorrow and I wanna make sure I get there at a reasonable time. So I'm gonna get her some flowers and a card from the grocery store. But first, the floors. Because if I go to the grocery store first and come back, I'm not gonna wanna do the floors and it's, it's time. <laughs> Be awful, but please pull up your pants. No offense. We'll be dancing in race. 